I know that you, we were kind of talking a little bit off camera that you kind of split your time between here and Frisco. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, well, I was, would have much rather been in Frisco at the time. So luckily my, my uh, wife and two kids were in Frisco. And yeah, this is kind of our uh, home at the lake, but we do split it about 50-50. So we did have a lot of stuff here. I mean, we actually like the, the sad thing we were talking about the other day, we actually like it here better than being in the city. It's like our just relaxation spot. And uh, so we have a lot of our belongings and we also own a, a local business in Coffee City just right across the bridge so yeah it's but, but we pretty much split our time about 50 50. yeah and you were actually here inside the camp room yeah i was um everything happened tell me a little bit about that i was just sitting in there i was actually doing a, a participating in a podcast on facebook and it just came out of nowhere i mean it seemed like I, it was raining a little bit i really don't remember much thunder and lightning and then after about three minutes of being in there i was just it, it got so loud, and then two of the windows broke out, and started filling the side panel and ripping off. And it's a it's a big fifth wheel, 43 foot fifth wheel, and I was like, you know, I don't know if I need to get out or because debris was flying everywhere. But I was like, didn't think that I was actually in a tornado until it sounded like a freight train, because tornadoes aren't that likely like that around here, and it uh, just came out of nowhere. So the thought that ran through my mind was like. Uh, eventually like I got to get out of here so jumped out hopped in my truck and um, tried to drive around power poles were knocked down the uh, lo lots of trees were knocked down and ended up escaping into the marina and uh, got into one of the, the ice coolers in there to ride out the rest of the storm yeah for sure what have the last few days kind of looked like for you and other people around it's, it's been real hectic, stressful. Uh, I brought a bunch of uh, excavators and skid steers out here from my business, and you know I will say that a lot of the people that 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 live here were really participating in that effort. Uh, one thing I was having a hard time, I thought, to get my medication because I have blood pressure medication. The Walgreens was real good about that. They completely understood, no problem. Because you just you're looking for like I couldn't find my phone for probably the first day and a half so you know until my wife got here I was just borrowing other people's phones and stuff and that's one thing when you need medication like that you know you're like that you know you know you don't have you can't find it but it's just been hectic like what I was telling you before flies everywhere it's hot and even though fortunately we don't have a lot of our keep keepsakes and stuff here we do have a lot of stuff that you're just like oh well there's $20 there there's $50 I mean just different items I think another thing too that you described of with your family, you guys think of this place as like an oasis. You'll think of this as a, a home away from home. And so you're here now and you're looking at everything around and it's not what you guys. Exactly. And my wife and son, especially, I feel bad for them that because they really looked at it that way. And, and it is nice. I mean, being right on the lake and everything. But I'll tell you, I don't think I'll ever make a decision to be in a trailer like that again. I, I think it's, uh, I'm still in, in a little bit of kind of shocking away and they told my parents today that live out in Winona I'm like you guys have to get an in-house shelter because even walking my wife has a second car a little Volkswagen bug and a branch that was two feet long went straight through her windshield busted the whole thing out I mean I'm like, that could have gone through my neck anything you know so it's even a matter the, the worst thing was just having no warning because usually you're hearing stuff go off on your phone and whatever else and that's why I don't know if I'll be staying anywhere overnight in a thunderstorm if there's not a shelter in that like a safe room or whatever yeah. so yeah sure it changes your perspective of things that you didn't think about before it does yeah I've, I've, I've been thinking a lot about that so yeah and so what is kind of next for you guys I know you're standing here for the next few days picking stuff up yeah we're, we're like I said we're fortunate that we still have a nice house to go back to in, in Frisco and you know like I was saying I just want to relax and take a day off of all this and just watch a couple movies and just decompress a little bit because it's just everything's kind of surreal when you go through something like this and so many people some of these guys I see out here uh, my son everybody their faces are red they're just exhausted and it's uh 
it, it's tough because there's so much. If you would have seen it yesterday, the day before, stuff was everywhere. I mean, you look at this over here, the boathouse. I'm sure you got some pictures of that and everything. But until you actually come and, and see it yourself, you have no idea of the magnitude. So that's so. Our next step is probably in a couple hours or in a couple of hours, just to head back, get get some good food, and just relax, and then come back and kind of finish up. This whole this whole thing is going to end up uh, being cut up and put into a dumpster, and then maybe we'll try to see if there's a few more things that we want to get out of the, out of there. But the good thing is we've got most everything that was important to us. Yeah, for sure. And I know, you know, with it being Memorial Day weekend, I'm sure you guys were planning to be out here anyways. And yeah, fireworks, things, everything. Yeah, how things are so much different this year compared to any other year. You know, it kind of has this somber vibe. It, it, it almost it. seems like there's more boats on the water, but not going fast. Everybody's kind of like cruising through here and cruising through there. Again, I think just because of curiosity of checking everything out. But yeah, it's almost surreal the the heat the humidity it's a little bit you know windy out here right now and uh yeah it's just it, it didn't feel like the typical i mean we were barbecuing last night on a charcoal grill but we had to roll it over from over here and it, you know has a big dent in and everything else but the most important thing i'm just i'm glad to be alive because I, it's uh i feel like that i would have been crushed if i would have stayed in it and I and mean, for, for a little while, I was thinking about just riding it out. It's going to slow down. And as it progressively got worse and worse, it's like pretty much driving through a real powerful car wash. It's like that's probably the best way I can explain it. That's just getting faster and faster.